Hello, this is Invector, and welcome to my newest Hearts of Iron 4 video. As the footage runs in the background, I will tell you what we are going to achieve today. We are playing as Ethiopia, and we will be getting 4 of the achievements for Ethiopia, except the Red Sea. Ethiopia is a difficult country to play with, as you start the game at war with Italy and Italy is ruthless. They will keep attacking you with divisions and planes, and they love to use force attack constantly. What you need to do is to cycle your troops constantly and keep them away from your victory points. After 20 tries or so, you'll figure it out, don't worry. Spend your first 150 political power on an infantry expert for defense, as we are struggling to hold the line. Getting war economy as soon as possible is also a good idea, as we can't really change our conscription law because we are stuck with the chitet. As you try to produce guns for your troops, try to get land lease from other countries. At the start, you can only ask for guns from a few countries. They will only let you have their guns when they have a surplus and you're at a deficit, and only if they like you, so you will need to improve relationship to ask for guns. Those countries are in order are Mongolia, Xinjiang, Tanutuva, Russia, Germany, and then Turkey. Turkey has a special bonus that allows them to share guns sooner, than like, compared to the other Netherlands countries. And later on you can ask for guns from Iran, Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan. When your generals level up, get ambusher traits for your generals and your field marshal. The plus 5 entrenchment really helps as we don't have a lot of the entrenchment to start with. So what we do is to hold the line until we are powerful enough to push and wait for the war to escalate and keep asking for guns. Keep checking the countries I mentioned and ask for guns when they are willing to send you some. There is nothing else to talk about here so I will speed it up as it's just intense macro management of troops and just doing the focuses that you need to do. Just do everything that will give you more guns and help your soldiers fight better. Remember that we also need the focus the king of kings so make sure to grab that. There is also pickle here as you need towards African unity in order to cause rebellions in African countries and form the African Union. But we also need the one true heir of Solomon for the other achievement. So what I do is, when you are about to grab this last focus, go to this folder in your computer and make a backup save of your Iron Man save file to use it for the other achievement. Yes, you can basically save load in Iron Man like this. Only when you are sure that you can push, you can push. There is a gimmicky way you can entrap Italians on the south pocket and destroy them one or two divisions at a time and it really helps. After a while, and I mean a long while, you will defeat Italy. After you are done fighting Italy, as most likely World War II has started by now and you are fighting the Axis, Get military access from all of the allies first, and don't join allies, and complete the Fiat Accompli focus to peace out. We need the lands that are south of us for the achievement, but we won't be powerful enough to push that much, so we will instead order 66 the United Kingdom and end the war. Get the lands we want in the peace deal. We want Palestine too, so pushing south wouldn't have got us the other achievement that requires us to move our capital to Jerusalem. Even though the Order 66 move is not very well liked in the Hearts of Iron 4 community, my Order 66 video has more views than all of my other videos combined and multiplied by 10, so I will be using it for achievements whenever I want. Shout out to Taureor, who taught me a lot about this game, and look at me, now I am making the achievement content. In the meantime, we need to cause rebellions in the African colonies of colonial powers, but ignore the British ones, they have too high compliance and zero resistance, so you won't be able to cause any immediate rebellion in them, it's a waste of time, political power and guns. You should go for Belgian and French holdings, they will rebel after you initiate them with 25 political power and then give a thousand guns, after you do it enough times, you will get enough colonies released and you will get the achievement. On to the next achievement, which requires us to capitulate the United Kingdom. 
get a lot of 10 bit cavalry divisions along with all of your other existing divisions and position them all in United Kingdom and order 66 them by attacking free France. You can join Axis and Germany will come to help you, but you can do this yourself also. Be wary though, if you aren't able to capitulate the United Kingdom before they capitulate you, or if United States join allies, you will fail and you need to restart. I am speeding up the footage because it takes a damn long time to micromanage every division and every tile. After a long but profitable micromanaging session, you will capitulate the United Kingdom and get the peace deal. Make sure you grab the required lands for the Lion King achievement plus Palestine for the Crusader Kings achievement. You don't need other lands but grab whatever you can if you want. United Kingdom has a border with you and if you take a long time to capitulate them, know that their divisions in Africa will come and take your lands and capitulate you. You can position one or two divisions in Addis Ababa to prevent this. If you get a prompt saying Japan has declared war on the Philippines, know that in about 75 days, United States will be in the Allies and you will fail. That is your cure, as historical Japan always attacks Philippines and 70 days later attacks the Dutch Indies. And since the Dutch Indies are in the Allies and Japan is already at war with the United States because they attacked a puppet of the US, US will join the Allies and you will be doomed. Note that this happens around mid-1941. Remember, you need Mombasa, Tanganyika, Garissa, Nairobi, Nyanza Rift Valley and Palestine. You must annex these provinces or you will fail the achievement. If you balkanize your country like I did, you will need to annex them all. Just send them guns and put your focus on suppressed subjects and then annex them using political power. After that, you will be able to click the decision to move your capital to Jerusalem, but know that you will need the focus named the one true heir of Solomon at the end of the King of Kings path. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. In the next video, I will show you how to get the Red Sea achievement, so make sure you tune in for that one as well. Stay tuned.